Good Tuesday afternoon, everybody. Hey, it's September 5th, 2017. How y'all doing this morning? Familiar voice back, perhaps? Perhaps. Or perhaps. Unless I'm just you're new. Ghost. I'm just, I'm new. <laughs> no, not you. New viewers, of course. Yeah, fantastic. Welcome on in. Welcome. Uh, Jeremy, uh, Preston, Andrew, oh. the whole team, we're back, we're ready to right. rock and roll. We're here. Uh, how was your guys' this week? It was Last good. week. It was good, good. good shows? Yeah, my yeah. voice, oh boy, my, my voice took a beating. There was one day where I, I almost didn't make it. It was <laughs> that much you info, huh? water. I was reading about like three miles a minute. Just going, just going in on the info, you know what I mean? And I was relentlessly just like, you take some info, you take some info. It's like going Oprah on the information, you know what I mean? Cool. And <laughs> yeah, I was worn out. My vocal cords were like, help me, help me. I was like, all right. For one brief <laughs> moment, while I was sitting in the middle of Chef Lake, mm. for those of you who know where Chef Lake is. Love Chef Lake. I was uh, thinking to myself, gosh, I wonder how those guys are doing. Mm, fish on <laughs> Oh, you got distracted. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, had some great fishing, great relaxation. Uh, was up in the Hayward area. Oh, yeah. Very nice up there. Oh, I've heard. Mm-hmm. And I've heard. Uh, yeah, I want to move up there now. Okay. I'm ready to leave. I'm just See ya. Want, just want to be in the quiet. Hey, it's what life's all about, you know what I mean? Just Live travel. the dream. Mm-hmm. Just do what you want. Live it. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Well, that's why I'm on this show. Yeah, exactly. Because this is what he wants to be doing today. No, but then when you run into me, I'm like, you want to host? Do you want to host? Do you want to host? Because uh, they want you and they want Andrew. They don't want this guy. They, they love the show. See, this is the thing. You cannot separate out any elements because keep it then all it's no longer the show. Mm-hmm. So there you go. It's very true. Without yeah. all of these elements, it would be it's a different all show. It's important, you know? Mm-hmm. None more. What would happen to PB and J? It would cease to exist. Yeah, yeah. So hmm. Think about that for a second. <laughs> Stop and think <laughs> that, about is it. Is that the future you want for your kids? No PB and J. Come on, it's a staple. Absolutely not. <laughs> hey, it's the uh, you know I love this day, and oh. I know I've said it on this show last year. Okay. Same time, same channel. I love this day because all these students are going back to school. Oh yeah. And I'm not. Yes. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> Sit back. Now I will drink some coffee. Happily, I happily That's note nice. that I I love school in the later part of the <laughs> sure, years. Sure, sure, yeah. Not in the beginning part of the year. So uh, as a as a youngin, I just dreaded dreaded this day. Yeah. And I was always thinking to myself, Gosh, I'm gonna enjoy it someday when uh, everybody's going. Here we are. Bittersweet. I I had a big smile when I woke up. Yep. Just it was happy. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good. Yeah, and you're done now. Done. Done and. Done, through. done, ready to ready to be done with that. Usually for, be for like life. working this crazy schedule. <laughs> yeah, it'd be wild. But Andrew, I'm more interested to hear from you. You know, you're yes. sending the little ones off. We had all, all five. All five were up and ready to go when I left the house this morning. Woo. That's a victory in most, its own. Most were excited to start. Some were not. <laughs> some were still tired. So hey, some. that's all right. Well, and you said too, you've got a set of twins, and they were being split up. Oh, yes. That's crazy we we're in two different uh teachers two, two, p- two p's not the same, same pod no they yeah. gotta learn it'll be interesting for them yeah they've been together since they were born so we'll it, even before even before <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> yeah so you, you split the duo apart oh yeah, yeah. We'll boy see what happens we'll see how that goes yeah i'm looking forward to a report it'll tomorrow be, Andrew. Be in uh let's see it's noon so they're in uh they're cap care right now. They're done with school, but now they're waiting for mom to be done with work. So Fantastic. We'll see how the day went. Sweet. Good stuff. I'm excited to hear. <laughs> yeah, we're going to actually talk about some back-to-school safety today. Mm-hmm. Although mm-hmm. we know your little ones already went, so we're going to talk about back-to-school safety for maybe those taller. The bigger boys. The bigger. The bigger Big boys and girls. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in just a few minutes in the headlines this morning. Coming up uh, in the Digest, it is national, uh, what is it, national preparation or preparedness month. It's time yeah. to get prepared, especially boy, after hurricanes that have come and are coming. Yeah. Still, yeah. it's a good time to be talking about that. Mm-hmm. Although I know we're not in Hurricane uh, Central here, still, but you never know, like know. Michigan. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, we talked about earlier this year, a lot of tornadoes and things, so you never know. Yeah. You never know. Oh, that's a good reminder. I uh, did pass uh, near between Rice Lake. I yes. passed that fatal uh, one where the yeah. trailer... It is literally like cross the highway, and then there was a trailer park, and just yeah, craziness. Insane. Craziness. That was the historically long trail mm-hmm. one, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Uh, so yeah, that <laughs> that's devastating up there uh, in that area. But yeah, good time to talk about that. So we'll talk about that in our digest. And then uh, come up in the guest segment, the one, the only, Tony King. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little, uh, a little nervous. Okay. I heard he's uh, growing a beard. <laughs> I've heard too. Yeah. We'll so see. he's a big hunter. So we'll see what... Uh, See what's up. All right. See how his camouflage is coming along. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe Let's he'll see. be invisible when he gets here. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, all right. Let's move forward here uh, and tell you a little bit about back to school today. A little safety tip from our uh, friend Adam Dorn, Fitchburg Fire Department. Take a look. When you're out driving now, you get. we need to be careful all year long. Right. But especially now in the school zones, because people kind of forget about it over the summer. Mm -hmm. So when you're driving in school zones, make sure you're following the posted speed limits because you have young kids that are new to the school, sure. new to the area. They may not know the situations or, the, or what the um, patterns of traffic are. They might just be excited and ready to run across right. the road over they're to school. They're very enthusiastic about it, so <laughs> they can't wait to get there. So you got to watch out for children. That, that's huge. Um, in the school zones and whenever you're driving in general, yeah. stay off your phone. Absolutely. It's, it's not safe to be on your phone while you're driving. Don't text and drive. There's too many crashes that happen. And I'd hate to respond to something where somebody ran into a kid on a bike or right. walking because they were on the phone and distracted. That right. would be awful. Um, go slower than what you normally do because you don't know what's happening yet with the school zone. Right. Like we said, the new kids, even just kids in general, that have always gone to school there. It, they don't always pay attention because they're talking with their friends or who knows what else is going on. And for you uh, big kiddos out there, if here's your tips for uh, going back to school. Take time to learn about the campus and the emergency plan. Sign up for your uh, college university emergency alert system. There's a lot of uh, new systems mm -hmm. like that where it texts you when there's something going on. Learn, a, learn and practice your, uh, your emergency evacuation plan. Use your uh, phone as uh, a vital communication vehicle. Uh, and uh, learn to update your social uh, networking sites through your phone. Uh, that would be for alerts. So right, you can get, right. you know, a lot of those have uh, alerts that uh, you can get through those social media. Take advantage of mobile websites and, of course, get an emergency kit and store it under your bed yep. or closet for those of you getting prepped. Yep. It's preparation month, so we got to talk okay. about it. Send them over to ready.gov if they want to find a list of things that you should have in said emergency kit. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Check that out. All right, let's move to a little bit of news from the Fitchburg Police Department that came in from uh, last weekend. So on September 3rd at approximately 4.35 a.m., the Fitchburg Police responded to a report of shots fired in the 3300 block of Leopold Way. According to witnesses, several people and at least one vehicle fled the area after shots were fired. Upon arrival, officers located three shell casings at the scene. The preliminary investigation indicates there had been a physical altercation between multiple individuals prior to the shots being fired. Fired. There have been no reports of injuries or property damage. Uh, the incident, of course, remains under investigation, and the police department is continuing to work with the community to uh, identify the people involved. So if you have information, you can always contact the Fitchburg Police Department or Madison Area Crime Stoppers. So there you go. All right. Uh, the West Fire Station uncoupling ceremony is happening this Friday. Yeah, you're going to want to stop on by for this. Mayor uh, Jason Gonzalez cordially invites you to attend the uncoupling ceremony on Friday, September 8th. The Fitchburg Fire Department's new West Fire Station uncoupling ceremony is similar to that of a traditional ribbon cutting, but with a twist. Literally. Whoop. The honor and rich tradition and history of fire service ceremony will begin at 4 p.m. Uh, with the Fitchburg Fire Department Honor Guard posting colors, followed by opening remarks from Mayor Gonzalez, Fire Chief Joe Polvemacher, and other special guests. Following the ceremony, uh, apparatus will be on display and tours will be provided of the new fire station. Light refreshments will also be served. Please bring your family to join us in this historic and proud moment for the Fitchburg Fire Department in the city of Fitchburg on Friday. September 8th. It's a beautiful station. We were out there uh, when they moved in and mm -hmm. got things kind of set up, but uh, now they're ready for the public to kind of stop on by. Take yeah, it's going to be cool. It is going to be said, cool. said, historical moment. Mm -hmm. Sticking on history. The local history meeting is coming up. So on September 23rd over at the Fitchburg Public Library, 
uh, the Fitchburg Historical Society is going to have a meeting, uh, and this is what it's going to feature. They're going to talk about why do they have a website that's going to be presented uh, by the Fitchburg Historical Society. They're going to talk about Facebook, harnessing the power of social media for historical societies and small archives. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, updates from the Wisconsin Historical Society and Council for Local History. So that's kind of the big deal here. We're going to have some folks from Fitchburg Historical Society and uh, the larger Wisconsin Council, as it were. So check that out. should be very fascinating. Absolutely. And uh, hey, all you travelers out there, stand up and clap your hands. <laughs> annual travel show uh, for the Fitchburg Senior Center that uh, the uh, here let me read this correctly join the Fitchburg Senior Center friends for a preview of the 2018 tours offered by Mayflower Tour and Premier World Discovery there will be an early book discounts uh, booking discounts refreshments and prizes September 27th at 2 o'clock p.m. runs till 4 at the Fitchburg Senior Center and sticking right on that theme, you've got the Meet, Eat, and Greet Senior yeah. Social. You're going to set your calendar for this one. It's going to be uh, coming up on September 28th at 4 o'clock p.m. Runs through 7 p.m. at the Fitchburg Senior Center. And remember this one, you can, uh, of course, come by, uh, meet people, uh, be a proclamation hell. There's going to be an uh, audiovisual system or they're showing off their new audio video system. Yeah. Big TV. And guess what? You stay long enough, you're going to watch the Packers versus the Bears. Sweet. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be fun. This uh, For those uh, 50 and older are invited to attend. Yeah, check it out. we got an awesome senior center. Sure do. Good, good times indeed. All right. There's your headlines. It's nice, sunny, semi-sunny. I know it's clouding up here. Either way... It's a shortened work week, and we're going to continue this shortened work week with uh, some preparation next, right here on Talking Fitchburg.